Hello, this is Sarah Painter. I'm submitting my final presentation for our stress management class. The uh, stress management technique that I'm going to be discussing is progressive relaxation. This is a technique that I found through um, throughout this course, something I've kind of discussed in some of the discussion posts. It's been very effective for me in the ways that I experience uh, stress physically. So first off, uh, what are some of the ways that we can experience stress physically? Uh, our reading in our comprehensive stress management literature uh, kind of suggests we can have tension, uh, gut issues, immune issues. There's a lot of different ways that we can experience stress in our bodies. Um, what exactly is progressive relaxation? So first off, what is not progressive relaxation? So there is progressive muscle relaxation, which is uh, which we learn about in our literature as well, and it is where you tense the muscles and then you relax them. So progressive relaxation um, actually avoids tensing the muscles first, and you go straight into just relaxation. Um, so you, you, what you'll do is you just kind of focus on different uh, muscles in the body and just begin to relax them, which I'll go into further in just a little bit. So the U.S. Department of Veterans Affairs uh, supports the progressive relaxation and uh, they state that it can help with sleep, it can help with stress management, anxiety, and just overall general relaxation. So for progressive relaxation for myself, uh, I've experienced, um, I carry a lot of tension in my shoulders, my neck, my jaw. Um, I've had times where my jaw got so tight I could not even get a q-tip in my ear. Um, I grind my teeth really bad and I've had to go to physical therapy for my neck and my shoulders because of just kind of carrying that tension in my neck and shoulders where I can't I can't really relax them. And it's something I didn't even realize that I did um, until I started having neck and jaw issues and had a physical therapy. Um, so whenever um, I perform the progressive relaxation, uh, I like to get in a quiet environment. You can be in a warm shower, uh, just a quiet place. Um, you can kind of like with some of the meditation, you can envision or imagine certain like quiet places or soothing images for myself um, or how I would, you know, demonstrate uh, for you guys. To practice it at home what, what I have been doing is I like to get into the shower or in the quiet and as I begin to uh, think of relaxing my body I just kind of start with my face obviously because my head and shoulders are initially the very first thing that I start experiencing tension so I just begin to close my eyes and it can take a couple of seconds. Um, I cannot begin to relax right off the bat. It does take um, sometimes several minutes before I feel like my mind and my body um, is clear enough to begin to just kind of deflate is how I imagine it. But I just begin to close my eyes and just take a couple of deep breaths. And then as I begin to relax, I like to start with my forehead and then kind of down my face. And as I do that, I just imagine my face kind of like succumbing to gravity. I just like to f imagine the feeling of my face, just kind of my muscles letting go and just feeling gravity, almost like a melting effect. <laughs> it kind of sounds weird, but it's just kind of how I envision um, my body as my, my muscles are no longer holding it to tight, but letting gravity begin to take effect. Um, so like I said, start with forehead down your face. Um, it's going to depend on where you hold tension. If you hold tension really bad in your face, this could take a while and you may have a couple of different areas that you're going to have to focus on, especially initially. Um, initially relaxing the forehead, focus on your eyebrows, begin to focus here on your face and on your jaw. And sometimes I just kind of like to sit there in that moment while that's kind of relaxing. 
I can kind of even feel it in my lips, like kind of let your mouth kind of go slack a little bit. And then I just kind of work my way down. I um, begin to really just kind of envision my muscles just kind of letting go in my neck, in my shoulders. Sometimes I have to do one shoulder at a time because it, it can take it can take some time. And this all didn't happen overnight. It, it took me some time to begin to realize the areas of my body that held the most tension. And those areas were the hardest to begin to kind of learn to relax. And of course, do this all the way down your body. For me, I focus mostly on those areas that I do hold tension in the most. Um, but for you, I mean, you may want to go all the way into releasing tension in your arms and your hands down to your legs. Um, you can kind of envision feeling a weightiness or a warmth is another thing that the literature kind of discusses. Uh, so that is uh, my demonstration of the progressive relaxation. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it's helpful. Thank you.